Hey, how's it going? Let's pick it up in Acts chapter 28 and read verses 11 through 20 today. After three months, we put out to sea in a ship that had wintered in the island. It was an Alexandrian ship with the figurehead of the twin gods, Castor and Pollux. We put in at Syracuse and stayed there three days. From there, we set sail and arrived at Regium. The next day, the south wind came up, and on the following day, we reached Putuli, Putioli. There we found some brothers and sisters who invited us to spend a week with them, and so we came to Rome. The brothers and sisters there had heard that we were coming, and they traveled as far as the Forum of Appius and the three taverns to meet us. At the sight of these people, Paul thanked God and was encouraged. When we got to Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier to guard him. Three days later, he called together the local Jewish leaders. When they had assembled, Paul said to them, My brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or against the customs of our ancestors, I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and wanted to release me, because I was not guilty of any crime deserving death. The Jews objected, so I was compelled to make an appeal to Caesar. I certainly did not intend to bring any charge against my own people. For this reason, I have asked to see you and talk with you. It is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. So Paul has now been on the island of Malta. They got shipwrecked there, all the other prisoners on that boat. And so they were there for a while. They were there for three months, actually. And so uh, lots of people got healed while uh, he was over there. And uh, good stuff happened. God uh, definitely works through difficult times and trials. And so now they've been there for three months before they were shipwrecked and uh, went into that storm. Paul had recommended that they uh, winter at a different place. Now, the people thought that they wouldn't be able to winter there. It wasn't suitable to do that. And so they decided to press on. What happens now is now that they're shipwrecked, they waited three months. Uh, we put out to sea in a ship that had wintered in the island. And so they waited out that season since it's kind of difficult to sail during that time period. So they kind of learned their lesson this time, decided not to uh, go through and sail through the winter. They decided to wait then they got an Alexandrian ship and they kind of just continue. And so I won't read exactly the next verses in 12 through 16, but we're, we're continuing to just kind of go through and stop at various different places, sometimes stopping for three days, sometimes a uh, different amount of time. And so they kind of just continue mo moving. And in verse 16, it says, when we got to Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier to guard him. And so now Paul is uh, living by himself, just being guarded, and he arrives at Rome. So we finally kind of got to the end of that journey where he's been on his way to Rome for kind of quite some time. And so now he's been there three days and he calls together the local Jewish leaders. And so why is that? It's because it's the Jewish leaders that really had the problem with him uh, back in Jerusalem that really did not like him and wanted him to be put to death. And so uh, these are different people over here in Rome. And so he wants to talk to them about what's going on. And so he kind of starts saying, my brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or against the customs of our ancestors, I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. And so now he's going into this kind of appeal saying like, hey, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. And also explains why he's there because they might be thinking, well, why is this guy, you know, why weren't like, why didn't you just have your trial handed over there and uh, and be done with if you're innocent and be fine? So he's kind of explaining that whole process. Verse 18, they examined me and wanted to release me because I was not guilty of any crime deserving death. Verse 19, the Jews objected. So I was compelled to make an appeal to Caesar. I certainly did not intend to bring any charge against my own people. For this reason, I have asked to see you and talk with you. It's because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. So next time we'll pick up with their response to Paul. But Paul is appealing to them saying like, hey, I am innocent. The reason I'm here is because uh, they would have let me go. But then the Jewish leaders there kind of uh, had some grudges against me. They objected. And so he had to make this appeal to Caesar, this appeal to a higher court and go over to Rome then. And so he's explaining all this. We'll pick up the response from the Jewish leaders next time and kind of what happens to Paul. So let's pray and close this out. Lord God, I just thank you and praise you and just pray a blessing on each one listening. Lord God, that you would just go out with us and, uh, and be with us. We just thank you, Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen.